Now let's talk about some enhancements to MIDI editing. I'm going to zoom in on some MIDI that I'm working on here. And let's, let's, uh, let's zoom in on that so we can really see those notes. There we go. Okay, so as of DP 10.0, uh, Motu has added the ability to see the actual notes written in there which makes it even faster to navigate around the MIDI editor and the sequence editor, which uses this, this view. Um, you might notice, if you look very closely at the notes, that they are also shaded now. Sh the shading corresponds to velocity. So you can see that this B3 right in the middle of my screen, it's about 60% loud on the scale of 1 to 127. And that's another bit of visual feedback. You can see that this one, which is you know 90% loud, is actually a darker red. So you have multiple ways to look at your velocity. And as of 10.1, you have another way, and that's down here in your velocity layer. Um, now, no longer are we looking at those tiny two pixel by two pixel chiclets that are almost impossible to grab. Now we have lines that show in a bright and visual way exactly how loud that note is and how long it lasts. So you can see its, its duration. You can see where notes overlap. So a very useful thing. Now that brings me to a brand new tool that's new to DP 10.1, and that is the Velocity tool. If you look up here in my, um, in my toolbar, uh, you may or may not be familiar with some of these tools, and I'm going to go through a few of them today. But the Velocity tool is this new one right here. You can obviously, well first of all, uh, shift, shift O is the shortcut to bring up the tool palette if, you, if you're not using that already. Of course, if you need it, you can just click on the Velocity tool, and then you can go back to your arrow. If you, need, if you need to do that. Now, every tool in this toolbar has a keyboard shortcut. The velocity tool shortcut is V. Re really easy to remember, right? Now, I'm going to take a very brief detour because I think it's actually very helpful for DP users if you're not already using this technique. If you simply wanted to select the velocity tool, for example, um, and you wanted to just move to the velocity tool to do some extensive work, the easiest way to do that is to double tap the key that you want. So if I double tap V, um, I get the velocity tool and now I can work with the velocity tool. Once I'm done with it, I would double tap A and that takes me back to the arrow or the pointer, which is the default tool that you use the majority of the time that you're in Digital Performer. But there's a second way to use the tools in the tool palette. Um, they're, they're called instantaneous or momentary. If I just want to temporarily use the velocity tool, all I have to do is hold down V and suddenly I've got the velocity tool. I can go and use it. So let's say I'm, I want to alter the velocity of this D4. I just drag the velocity up or down. And then as soon as I release V, it takes me back to the arrow key. So it's a very quick way of being able to reach out and touch my MIDI and go back to where I was. The velocity tool also works with phrases. So for example, if, I, if there was this entire phrase of MIDI and I needed to adjust it, I can just hold down V, grab one note, drag down or up, and you can see that every note in that MIDI phrase is being adjusted proportionally. So it's a very easy way. Reach out and, and edit that one phrase, and then I release the V key, I'm back at the arrow tool, and I can continue on my work. There's another new tool right next to it in the toolbar, and that is the hand tool. The hand tool shortcut is H. Again, real easy to remember. And it is a, a scrolling tool. If I hold down H, now, I can move around this window very easily. I release H and I'm ready to continue work.